Alright, this is Mishiko, and uh, last month we did a little preview video on this weapon here. This is the CZ805 Bryn. This is current military issue in the Czech Republic, and recently uh, Slovakia also adopted it. And uh, last when we did our last video, we just uh, just purchased it and weren't able to shoot it. Well, today we were able to put, um, I think I put 120 rounds through it, and my friend here put oh, a few few more boxes. So I'd say in all in all, we, we probably put a little, uh, 200, maybe a little less to it. But anyway, you know, enough. Uh, absolutely no uh, jams or malfunctions. We were using uh, Brass Max and Wolf Ammo. Both ran uh, fine. I have to say, this is one of the most pleasant firearms to shoot. Um, first off, you have a very, very smooth bolt. It just has a real good feel. This isn't oiled or grease. It's just, just a real nicely machined thing. Next, you have a very nice trigger. Very well done mag release. Ambidextrous on either side. Ditto for the safety. It doesn't interfere, you can easily get to it without it you know, hanging down. The pistol grip is very ergonomic for what it is. Now I've been uh, running it with an HK style waffle mag just because it looks right and kind of close to the original uh, 805 mags that are in use over in uh, Czechos uh, Czech Republic. It is, um, you know, very much inspired by the FN SCAR, if not exactly a copy. You can look at our preview video for more details about that. We just wanted to kind of touch base with it again and see how it, tell you how it shot. We have changed up the sighting system on it. When new, it comes with um, Scorpion style diopter sights. Well, those don't work really well. They're very low profile for this gun. They work great on the Scorpion, but for the, uh, for the Bryn, we put uh, Magpul. Embus Pro backup iron sights on it. These are made of metal. They fold down to be very flat and they're very similar to what the Czech military runs on theirs as backup. So they, they work well. Again, they fold down very flat, stay out of the way. They are fully adjustable, which is nice. And then for the optic, we have a Primary Arms Advanced Red Dot with digital controls on top and it has a uh, QD mount here which is similar to the Miopta red dot that the Czech military uses but of course for nearly one-tenth of the price if you can even find one so it's a good alternative for just a range blinker and it looks very appropriate on this weapon I will say shooting it this muzzle brake is extremely loud. However, the flip side is, most of the time when you have these kinds of pistols, though they don't give a whole lot of recoil being a 223, they kind of want to um, come up and twist a bit and because of the torque of the bullet coming out. This thing, even without a stock, remains almost just rock solid steady. It's probably the most pleasant 223 type pistol I've ever fired. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm sure with the stock it'll be even better. I can see this being a highly controllable weapon in, in full auto. But I was very pleasantly surprised with that. But I do plan to take this muzzle brake off and put on an original Czech military birdcage flash hider. I, I have ordered one and it, it came in from the Czech Republic, but it hasn't been installed yet, as you can see. But we'll, we'll do that next time. But uh, just to kind of give it the original military look. I will file my uh, Form 142 and, and get a stock for it in SBR. The stocks are starting to become available. You can find them on Gunbroker. Yeah, I have just mostly positive things to say about this weapon. Um, the price has come down. They seem like they're hovering at about 1600 right now, which is down from about 18 or 19 that they were a few months ago. Uh, nice controls. It's nice to see an all-metal gun, except for this polymer lower. This magwell is swappable. So if you want to run Bryn mags and you find a Bryn mag well, you can put it in by just popping out a couple of pins in the lower. Disassembly for cleaning is very nice. Really, the only things that can ding it, some people don't like the reciprocating charging handle. For me, personally, it doesn't matter. I'm so used to firing AKs that uh, it's, it's not a big deal, but some people don't like that. 
and also the fact that it doesn't have a bolt release is kind of strange. This is not a bolt release as you saw in our last video. It is there. See. You have to drop the mag. And you to... This is basically here is a bolt hold open for cleaning. If you notice the original check VZ58 has a very similar style device but it's kind of hard to activate and likes to come off but it's there basically for a bolt hold back manual if you need to clean it or do inspections or something. But aside from the few oddities like that that are pretty much just because it's a Czech military gun and they were making it to suit their needs it's um, proven very reliable quite accurate especially for having an 11 inch barrel and um, nice trigger as I said it's a pleasant surprise. We've had uh, good luck. They were around this town last year. I ended up picking up a Beretta ARX 100, not expecting a whole lot out of it. It's become one of our favorite guns. Well, this year we picked up the, um, the 8L5 Brand around the same time, and it's quickly becoming a favorite, too. As a pistol, it's quite good. If they do a carbine, or if I can convert this into an SBR or get the longer barrel, the military guns, this, the 805A2 has an 11-inch barrel, as this one does. And the 805A1 has a 14 inch barrel, you know, pretty much the same length as an M4 would have. So, you know, even the, even the quote unquote carbine or rifle version has still quite a short barrel. But um, I think set up as a 14 inch or a 16 inch carbine, it'd be really something uh, interesting. The stock for it, the military stock, much like the CZ uh, Scorpion Evo stock, folds and collapses. It's adjustable, I think, with five positions, maybe six. It has a removable cheek piece, yada yada yada. So it's a pretty decent stock that they have out for it too. And it's easy to install on one of these if you um, obtain the SBR paperwork by just taking, disassembling it and putting in the right block in the back. Well, I thought we'd just uh, revisit the Bryn while we just got through firing it. Again, we fired about 200 rounds, absolutely no problems, no malfunctions. Um, they worked well with these uh, HK mags and also just standard generic um, alloy GI mags. So, so, um, so far, so good. We'll continue to shoot it and probably file a Form 1 on it eventually and uh, you know, revisit it in a few months. But as always, thanks for tuning in.